Hey everyone and welcome back with another earnings video. This time we're going to touch on Shopify. Now if you missed the Google Alphabet video I just posted, the link will be in the top right corner. So Shopify, surprisingly enough, the stock is actually up close to 7% at the time of making this video. Now, granted this week it's still down 11% and that's especially because, well, yesterday when they announced that they are letting go around 10% of their workforce, which is around 1,000 employees, the stock crashed around 15%. And this is basically the reason why. So they show us this graph right here, right? US e-commerce adoption growth rate, huge jump when the pandemic hit, but right now we're going right back to that dotted line here. So basically pre-COVID data, because let's say COVID did not happen, we would have been around that spot right here as well. Shopify, more specifically the CEO, Toby, he takes it all on himself right now. They basically said that because of this jump, well, the share of dollar that traveled through e-commerce rather than physical retail would permanently leap ahead by five or even 10 years. Well, that bet clearly did not pay off and that's why they're letting go around 10% of their workforce. Now, I do want to mention that during the earnings score for them, besides the fact that they had to let go a lot of great employees, nothing really changes strategically. They're still going to invest aggressively in the business, more specifically Shopify's fulfillment network. The acquisition of Deliver has been completed on July 8th. So we'll see more and more investment into their own business, into more verticals. And to be honest, right now, maybe it's the time to do so. Hard times make for great companies in the long term. If you survive this, you will survive better times for sure. So now before we go and look at the actual numbers for this quarter, see the good and the bad ones. If you want to support this channel, do check out the link down in the description and in the pinned comment to get the top 10 best stocks to buy now or go to full.com forward slash couch investor and make sure to check out all the other links in the pinned comment. So I'll start off by talking about the incredible pace of innovation that Harley, the president of Shopify, has spoken of. So there is this thing now called Shopify Editions where basically it gives us a summary of all the new capabilities that Shopify offers. So it's B2B, Point of Sale Pro, Shopify Audiences, which is very, very cool. We talked about that in the past. Shopify Markets, all of this is designed to unlock even greater value across the entire platform and strengthen Shopify's commerce operating system. Now with all that said, total revenue in the second quarter grew 16% year over year to just $1.3 billion. Now again, if you want to compare it to Amazon, it's really not worth comparing, right? Because Amazon, the last 12 months, it's close to half a trillion dollars in revenue. This is just 1.3. Now that said, this represents a three-year compound annual growth rate of 53%. Total reported revenue growth year over year was negatively impacted by approximately 1.5 percentage points, giving the significant strengthening of the US dollar. We've talked about that in the past videos and you were gonna hear this a lot during this earning season. Now MRR, monthly recurring revenues, because well, obviously there is subscription products while using Shopify. So that was 1072 million dollars that increased 13 percent year over year from 95.1 million dollars now shopify plus contributed 33.7 million dollars or 31 percent of mrr compared to that 26 percent one year earlier as larger merchants seek out greater value from their digital platforms and it's also good that they do not just focus on the online but also on the offline because as we've seen with square for example Square have done tremendously. Why? Because the seller side of the business is focused on online, but mostly also on offline, real shops. And that has rebounded tremendously. Now, continuing here, subscription solutions revenue was $366.4 million, up 10% year over year, primarily due to more merchants joining the platform and reflecting the change in terms to make selling in our app and team stores free for partners up to their first million dollars annually, terms that were not in place until the third quarter of 2021. Now as for GMV gross merchandise volume for the second quarter was $46.9 billion, which represents a three-year compounded annual growth rate of 50% and an increase of $4.7 billion or 11% over the second quarter last year. 
Now, GPV gross payment volume grew $24.9 billion, which accounted for 53% of GMV processed in the quarter versus only $20.3 billion or 49% in the same quarter last year. And this is where having an ecosystem is extremely useful because GPV continued to benefit in the quarter from strong performance by merchants on Shopify payments, growing adoption by new merchants and merchants on Shopify Plus, ShopPay, and Shopify markets penetration gains and continued adoption of their point of sales pro hardware with integrated payments. So what I mean by that is basically you can attract new customers, but let's say you don't attract new customers anymore, right? Worst case scenario, the existing ones are going to adopt more and more products. And as they adopt more and more products, well, more money flows into the ecosystem, more profits, more revenue, etc. Now, as for merchant solutions, that grew 18% year over year to $928.6 million, driven primarily by the growth of GMV and the continued solid uptake of merchant solutions such as Shopify Payments, Shopify Capital, and Shopify Markets. Now, as for gross profit dollars, that grew 6% to $655.6 million. Adjusted gross profit grew also 6% to $665 million. Operating loss for the second quarter was $190.2 million or 15% of revenue versus an income of $139.4 million or 12% of revenue in the same quarter last year. So obviously by looking at those numbers, you can see here net loss for the second quarter was $1.2 billion or 95 cents per basic and diluted share compared to a net income of $0.9 billion or $0.69 in the same quarter last year. Now, that loss does include $1 billion because of their well, equity and other investments, but also last year when it was more positive, that was also because unrealized gains on those equity and investments, probably a firm. Now, at the end of the quarter, Shopify had $6.95 billion in cash, cash equivalents, and marketable securities. So they still have some cash on hand, which is great to have in this market environment. Now, here to talk about the second quarter business highlights, I'm not going to go through all of them. Just the most important ones is basically their partnership with YouTube. They're now available well through basically all the social media platforms because their view is basically e-commerce should be available everywhere online. Now, as for the outlook, so they've grown their adjusted operating income over the past five years through 2021. They now expect 2022 will end up being different, more of a transition year in which e-commerce has largely reset to the pre-COVID trend line and is now pressured by persistent high inflation. They expect their multi-channel superpowers and strong, by the way, superpowers, the word here is being used quite a lot in this report, and strong value proposition will continue to help our merchants in this environment. And we're excited about our critical investments like Deliver that we believe will position us well for the future of commerce. So to summarize this, it's been a okay quarter for Shopify, let's say. The outlook for this year, they basically told us Forget about 2022, let's focus on 2023 and onwards. And maybe as long-term investors, that makes total sense. And especially in the current micro environment, well, 2022 is extremely difficult to navigate, especially if your primary business is retail, then you get impacted a lot. So again, the comparisons with Amazon here makes no sense. Amazon is, well, much, much bigger. They also have AWS, their advertising side, Prime, etc. So purely as a Shopify holder, I'm also, by the way, going to add Shopify to this channel's portfolio, which you can follow on Stockcard. It's free. Also enter the contest. You might win $250 in cash by the end of the year. The links are down in the description and in the pinned comment. Again, it's free to enter. So why not? And then you can also follow this channel's portfolio, see how well or how bad we've been doing. But overall, again, it's been a meh quarter for Shopify. The outlook for this year, not that great. Let's see if management can execute well in the long term. Now, obviously, do share your thoughts down in the comments below. And if you enjoy this type of videos, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, maybe hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.